Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly. It's just the word. Allegedly. It's on the street. Allegedly. I sing to the beat. Allegedly. Lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. Lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. Lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. Future is at it again. Eliza Rain got her paternity test and he is the pappy. How more of him. But he says that baby mamas are being used as props. Well, who's the prop director? You and your penis. You see, if you weren't getting them pregnant, wouldn't be a prop to prop. If you were wearing condoms, you wouldn't be getting conned. If you were more discerning with your dick, you wouldn't be in debt. Yeah. According to the blast. And her child support will be to the tune of $53,000 a month. However, with Future's pause in income, I wonder if that'll get knocked down to 40 cent. A lot of these rappers are about to become crappers. With no tour and no clubs to get a promotion fee from, I see coins getting dry. In more future news, he's upset with his friend, Masika Kalisha, for commenting on his baby mama DNA drama. Ah, uh, Masika. Now, as a top-rated hoe who had to go through several paternity tests to find out who your baby's father was, I think you would have all the shuts the fuck up. I mean, you're out here fucking Fetty Wap. Hell, if you was gonna be future's friend, you should have gone on and gotten pregnant by him. She was clowning him for having to write six different tweets to six different baby mamas on Mother's Day. You don't even fuck with half your baby mothers. You only seem to fuck with Joy and the other heifer. That's a sorry family. I'm sure Sierra got your note and balled it up. Future took issue with Sierra's husband playing a big role in raising Future. Well, you ain't gonna play a big role. What you gonna teach him? How to be ain't shit? Nuh-uh. Let somebody else parent. You're a failure and a fuck up. Look like you don't wash your ass properly. Mm-mm. Now, Russell Wilson has a clean, pristine booty hole, but that's another topic for another time. Ellen is upset with the negative press she's been receiving because people have been telling tales out of school about her piss-poor treatment of her staff and guest of the show. Well, Ellen, stop being mean. Stop being an asshole. And two, you were $350 million and you couldn't pay your staff? You're a sorry piece of shit. Fuck ya. And fuck your image. Because it's a lie. Snoop Dogg is upset that he woke up to a bunch of snitching after slamming Takashi 6 9 Snoop, you are too old to be talking about a 22-year-old. You just, you're too old. You are talking about somebody literally half your age that could be your child. Leave the bullshit to the kids. You should be talking about grown man shit. You out here working with Martha Stewart. Somebody get Peepaw off social media. So get, get his phone. You're too distinguished at this point. Never thought I'd say this, but you don't see Jay-Z getting involved in the nonsense. Then again, camels notoriously mind their own business. But Doberman pinchers like you are apparently nosy boo. Oh, God. Angela and fucking Bow Wow. Like... How pathetic are they? I mean, we know Bow Wow was pathetic, but I thought Angela, well, then again, she ran out and got pregnant by a dope boy in two months, and now she's running up under Bow Wow. I think we overestimated her value. I'm sorry, but sometimes birds just gotta fly. And that's what she doing, flitting around with Bow Wow on this damn show. And for growing up hip hop for a wee TV show, you're really gonna let people think he played in your puss for a wee TV show? At 38, you ain't got shit better to do with your life? At least at 38, I got something better to do with mine. I know I'm 37, but still. Mary Kate Olsen wants to divorce that old guy she married cause he kicked her out of her home. Now I don't understand that. You worth like 150, 150 million. How's anybody kicking you out of anywhere? I'm sorry, if I got a deed, I ain't going. She got an email from Pierre's attorney telling her to get her property out of their apartment by May 18th. Oh, hell no. 
Why the hell can't he move? I don't know what she ever saw in that bird face fool. Blueface's baby mama is tearing his car and his house windows up with a pooper scooper. Y'all gotta stop giving pussy to men named Blueface. Oh, you're Blueface? You don't get a whiff, sorry. Mm-mm. Child, I'd give some to a Leroy or a Charles before I'd fuck a Blueface. Well, there's a security deposit you won't be getting back. Khloe Kardashian isn't pregnant by Tristan Trimester Thomas yet. Yet. Erica Jane's husband's getting sued again for $53,000 for unpaid security fees. They had private armed guards at their Pasadena house for $39 an hour, and they stopped paying back in September of 2019. $39 an hour? If I need armed guards and $39 an hour, I don't want to live there. The shit ain't safe. Nima from Shaws of Sunset apparently met Meghan Markle when he was a teenager and she said she toyed with his heart. No, she didn't. She thought you were gay. And we still think you're gay. Well, we know. We know. Your teeth knew. Lord, a love and hip hop star, and I use star loosely, Mo, Carly Red's ex, can you, of course, Carly Red's ex, got a PPP loan for two milli and went out and brought Rolexes and paid child support. Child, these people who scam the federal government gonna get got and you gonna go under the jail. Child, federal agents found his ass on May 6th, searched the home and found $80,000 in cash, 9400 in his pocket. Oh my God, they found a Rolls Royce with a dealer tag on it and $530,000 of PPP funds from three bank accounts. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's funny we ain't hearing about the white people who pulling it, cause you know they is. Regine, resume. Resume gonna say she ain't gonna make another man famous again after the foolishness with L-F-Y-N-O-P, Luchi Pucci, I don't know. But she said she made him famous. No, nah, honey, you was out here fucking Z-list celebrities that were just as famous as you. Just because your gremlin of a father and bad-built mother have a modicum of notoriety doesn't make you special. And just because someone's with you, troll doll, doesn't mean that you've made them famous. If he didn't have a little bit of music, we wouldn't have given a shit about him. Like we don't give a shit about you. And speaking of your ugly father, he's broken up with yet another fiance, and I don't know why that's news. He can't make it down the aisle, and he can't keep a woman. What, I mean, I, I don't know how goblin magic works, but the spell seems to wear off before that wedding happens. And in terrible television news, Tyler Perry Studios will resume production, making full 22 episode seasons in two and a half weeks. 22 episodes in two and a half weeks. And we wonder why the shit's so shitty. If you fuck up a line, they just gotta edit it out. They ain't got time for a reshoot. Vera Wang, suddenly a sex symbol at 70, spills her secrets. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you them right now. She's rich, she's thin, and she's in designer clothes. Yes, that's all it takes. The hell. And I ain't gonna say a sex symbol. She just thin and in designer clothes. She don't look old, old. She took care of her skin. Raven Simone said she's never touched her Cosby show money. Well, why would she? The second she got off Cosby show, then she was on Disney. So then she had the Disney money. How long did that So Raven go on? Wait, no, she had Cheetah Girls money. Then she had that So Raven money. So no, there was never any need to touch the Cosby money because she was already making better Disney checks and executive producing at like 15. So she probably touched her executive production checks. I mean, she had to spend something. She living somewhere. Lord, and she was best friends with Sissy Small Yehi who she better check her pockets. He probably got that Cosby money. Swiss Beats think rappers should pay taxes to hip hop's elder statesmen. The fuck, if they ain't got their shit together, I ain't got nothing for them. He wants to raise a million dollars for each icon who started hip hop. DJ Herc, Melly Mel, Grandmaster Flash, and the Sugar Hill Gang. You mean you want to give people they do after they got screwed out of their royalties? Because of shitty contracts? Well, say that. 
I'm sorry, I done fucked up a few times. Ain't nobody throwing me no coin. Nicki Minaj and Beyonce beefing on the low. Beyonce made a classy, bougie, ratchet playlist on title this weekend with 39 songs, not one of them with a Heffa Minaj feature. Must be a great list. I might listen to it. All right, well, those were today's hot topics, so I'll see you soon for something. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee Lee. Allegedly. Don't blame. Don't sue. Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly.